five, four, three, two, one. Idly, li, 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 li. Hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live Game Coding. Oh yes, and I'm a little bit uh, last minute today. It's one of those situations where sometimes things get in the way, and tonight it was waiting on a, a delivery from. Uh, I thought. I'm I'm really busy. I, I actually didn't finish work until half past eight this morning after Game Hammer finished last night. I ended up with um, a lot of work to do, still f to finish, and it took over an hour and a half to render a video I've been working on all that day, af and before and after Game Hammer Live. You would not believe how long it took. So at half eight this morning, I finally got to bed, I slept until about two, maybe two thirty. And uh, I've been working on stuff uh, since I got up, but because of that, I decided, oh, I'll have a, I'll have a delivery. I'll get uh, food delivered, so I can continue working and not have to worry about cooking. And it just didn't work out like that. Unfortunately, it took, <laughs> it took till twenty to eight for the delivery that I'd ordered at uh, seven o'clock from a McDonald's down the street. To uh, actually arrive. So I'm a little bit behind schedule. Sorry about that. It's going to be one of those nights. But speaking of those nights, where is my button that brings up the thingamajigs, the, the video stream? Because I'm going to need that. And also I need to know um, graphic adventure creator manual. Let's type that in onto the Google Oogle and get a copy of that from CPC Wiki. Should help. There it is. Whoa! That was loud. Well, apparently, I know it's working because woof. So here's the Commodore 64, also known as the Commodore 64. So <laughs> Here we go. Let's get this up. And I need to turn off the depth count and the, the Monday Night Live and all of that. Right, let's do this. Let's load in our game. Load FB81. Hopefully, I've managed to... Found or found other? Okay, let's try that again. Ah, right, I see what was wrong. The uh, SD card had come out. Won't be able to load anything if you can't find it. So, uh, who's in the chat, by the way? Sir Patrick. Hello, how are you doing? Let's see how we get on. Not many people here tonight. The good weather's changing the YouTube uh, methods again, isn't it? Making people stay outside and enjoy the weather. Like people who like things. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Beverage of choice, by the way, is a banana milkshake. Right, so we're up to RB4. I can tell because I've started to be able to read these random uh, graphical things that they set out. So we've got a few things that we need to do. We've got the um, we've got the power to work, the power generator. Mm. Hi Jen, how you doing? And since the power generator is working, it should mean that we can now get into the. Uh, command set. I'll, I'll bring that in in a minute. RB4. Please load in and it'll be good. It'll be good. Yes, yes it will. This is this thing is getting huge. We're going to, at some point, run out of memory. That's how big this adventure game has got. So, that's nice. I'm going to move my hat onto my head. So that loads in. It's loading. It's just taking ages. Commodore 64. It's really slow when it comes to loading stuff. It's interesting. It's a nice machine and I do like it, but wow, the the input is slow. So, right. Ow. Busted my shoulder. I'm still not sure how I did it. So here's our thing. Standing in the cockpit of the Valiant. Yep, that's great. So let's go back to here. So, are we using the actual hardware? Yeah, we code on actual stuff. Yeah. So, now that the power generator is in, if I bring up the main screen again, on here, oh, we have 
this is our map. So we're on, we've just finished the power generator, which is down here, and it'll electrocute you if you're carrying the crowbar when it's not working properly. So we should be now able to get into the cockpit, which means that hopefully we have set the correct thing, which is uh, power online. So we're going to have to have a look at that. Oh. Did we make a room number 14? Let's do that first. Room number 14. We did not, so we can't uh, enter even if we've got the setup. So we'll check and make sure everything works. So, you are standing in the remains of the... of the... Oh, I'm going to call it the, fly, call it, uh, the cockpit. I'm going to call it the flight deck. Of the flight deck where the crew of the ship would have controlled all the mechanisms to keep the ship in space. Unfortunately, most of these mechanisms are now destroyed thanks to the crash there is a door leading south <laughs> oh we need to take one so let's take out the commodore the commodore the what the comma they're now destroyed thanks to the crash so we can put in south but we also need another <laughs> That's it. Let's take out all the all the mechanisms just to say to control the mechanisms. Yeah. Oh, hang on. If we take those out, keep. How's that keeping? Does that mean I can put a put a full stop on them? That would be nice if I can. Yes. No. No, we still need one more X space. So let's take the all out. This is, oh, this is the thing about uh, coding in this kind of uh, situation. There are so many limits and you have to be really on the ball. Unfortunately, comma, well, we'll take out the comma. There we are. Unfortunately, most of the mechanisms are now destroyed thanks to the crash. That, that still scans. That's fine. There's a door leading south. Full stop. There we go. Exits. Uh, south to the mess hall nine there we go no picture with this room so there we go right we're okay now <laughs> so if we start the game in the mess hall begin where nine go into the game what is in the mess hall <clears throat> right. You're standing in the remains of what may have been the ship's mess hall. It's a mess. <laughs> I love that bit. Damaged furniture is strewn everywhere, while most of the walls are burned black. A terminal on the wall flashes as if waiting for an input. You can also see a charred floor panel. Try to go south. We can't. The door won't open. Examine door. The door is a solid, airtight, internal, space-worthy door. It can function as a temporary bulkhead in the event that part of the ship is breached. Open door. You can't. So we need to have a command for that first of all to give us a clue on what we're doing. So let's do this. So we need local conditions for room number nine. Let's see what we've got so far. Up to verb 10. So what we need is one that for verb 23. Did we have a one for verb 23? Of 22. That's when we're doing weird things with the panel. I don't think we have. Verb 23. And now 9. And. Oh, is that the panel? Door. And noun 6. What's noun, noun 6? Crowbar. Set 4. Cockpit door stuck shut. Message 23. Oh! Try to open it with a crowbar. 
and reset four, which is four is cockpit door stuck shut. And if it's 22, end. So we need to have a look at that first. So let's go back to begin in the game. Let's go north and search debris. Right, we've got the uh, we've got the crowbar. Open door with crowbar, which is what that command that we looked at was. Try as you might, you just can't get the crowbar between the airtight panels of the door. Interesting. So, how would we sort that out? Hi, Iron Horse. How you doing? Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to drink a, a milkshake from McDonald's. They didn't give me a straw. They, I think this will be the last time I order from them because they've messed up an order before. And this is the second time they haven't given me a straw for a milkshake. So I keep getting a you know, face full of milkshakes, which is not great. But it is helping to keep me cool tonight, which is nice. You're fair to middling. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, oh, right. So, what if the door is not stuck shut? Well, how would we deal with this? I think we need to examine the, examine the door again. There should be like a... Not a terminal. Not a panel, because we've already got panel. How about a display? Maybe there should be a display next to it to tell us what we need to do. And if... Yeah, let's do this way. Let's do it this way. Uh, go to conditions, local conditions for room number nine. Uh, start with line number one. Let's have a look. We're looking for door. Verb 16 and noun nine is what we're looking for. For examine the door. To find out what the message is. Verb 16 and noun 9, message 24. That's what we want. So we need message 24. So we can add in that there's a uh, display next to it. And then we can alter this to say there's a little display next to the door. And then we can have uh, different uh, responses. Uh, there is a status display next to the door right so that's gonna be there now what are we up to like 50 odd for the messages no not 660 take the number when i type it you little git 70 wow how many of these have we got 80 right so not that 75 77. I'm using the Newton Newtonian method to find out which number it is, basically jumping through. Right, here we are, 77. Okay, the status display is a small... Oh, for goodness sake. Who put the home key right next to the delete key? Small screen that tells the crew the status of various mechanisms on the ship and a space on the end it currently reads that the that no power is reaching the door and that the opening motor is damaged. It currently reads that power is reaching the door, but the opening motor is damaged. I may have to force this, force the door. How's that? OK, 
Okay, you have it linked up to the generator repair. That's exactly what I'm doing. So that was, uh, what, 77 for the start? Yeah, 77. So I need a, now a, uh, a screen or display. I need that as a, as a noun. Do we already have that screen or display? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah. So noun 27 will be screen or display. That is it. Yes, Iron Horse, you are you are on the same page as I am. So we need uh, local conditions again. Room number, what is it, nine? Nine, yes. Uh, what, we'll do ten? No. Wow, this is a lot. Right, if verb 16 and noun 27. And what's the one for the power? Uh, power generator is fixed is 11 and set question mark 11 yes yes set question mark 11 message 77 message 79 end if verb 16 and noun 9 and reset question mark 77 message 77 reset 77 no oh, message 77 message 78 end so hang on go back what was it reset uh, was 11 not 77 77 was the message right but i know that we tried to do something else Verb for south, it'll be one of the very low ones. Very low number. Verb six and set three. Set is three. What is three? Panel moved. So that's down. Verb two and reset four. Reset four is cockpit door stuck shut. There we go. So instead of four, we now need 11 for power generator fixed. Oh no, it don't. We don't because uh, we're still opening the door. We haven't opened the door yet. What about two possible methods which lead to different outcomes? One where you think it's okay and let you continue as if you did it the right way, but you encounter a vent that's in that's you. I'm not sure how we would do that, unfortunately. Verb two and set four go to fourteen end. Verb twenty three and now nine and open open pan. Open door with crowbar and set question mark four, message 23, and reset question mark four. Ah, we need an extra bit here now. And reset question mark four, message 22. Yeah. And reset question mark eleven because that's what we need. Oh, what the? Oh my God! What the hell happened there? Reset eleven. Message twenty-two. End. Oh, for goodness' sake! What's wrong now? If verb 23, noun 9, and adverb 1 and noun 6, which is open door with crowbar, and the uh, marker for cockpit door is shut, is not set, <laughs> and reset question mark 11, which is the power generator is fixed, message 22, I don't... I don't see what the problem is with this message 22. What have I got wrong? What what have I screwed up? What have I actually messed up in? I'm not entirely sure. And noun 6 and reset 4 and reset 11. I don't get what's wrong. Message 22 end. 
What is wrong with this? Okay, it seems to think the and is incorrect. Oh my goodness, sir. Uh, sorry, guys. I've just realised that I am not even showing you this. Yeah. Okay, there's something gone wrong. And I'm not entirely sure what is wrong. Reset four. So why don't I just type this again? And reset question mark. Eleven. Oh, there wasn't a space. It was hidden on the uh, on the line break. There. Oh my goodness, is that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, so we need to do that again. Now, if verb... Just open. Verb 23 and noun... Door is 9, so noun 9. And adverb 1, which is with... And noun 6, which is with crowbar. And... Reset question mark 4 and set question mark 11, which is the power on. Message, say 79, set 4, end. So message 79 now. Oh, so 80 is actually what we needed. Uh, you jam the crowbar between a tiny gap. No, we can't say between. You giant jam the crowbar into a tiny gap between the doors. Heaving, swearing and sweating a lot. You Manage to eventually prize the doors, the doors apart enough to let you squeeze through. Thank goodness you've been on a diet. <laughs> oh, this would not work. <laughs> There we go. So 80 is actually what we need. Hi, Amelia. Meow. Right, let's do this. So go back to the local priority conditions for room number 9. It was, what, line number 16 or something? Yeah, message 79 is now message 80. <sighs> Here we go. Let's go. Message 80. So now we can get in there, providing the thing is set. Okay. Actually, message room number nine again. Let's have a look right from the start. If we go south, do it, is it as possible at any point to actually go south? Because I can't remember us actually doing that. Verb six and if verb six and reset four, message twenty one. Verb two and set four, go to fourteen. So we did. It's okay. Okay, she's not going out. Thankfully, she's coming back after a few minutes, but it scares me. Yeah, but cats do need to be able to go out every now and again. Fred used to go out in our garden for a little bit and then wander back in like, hmm, the south side's not as good as I thought it would be. Hmm. 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 So we got that. So what's been going on here? Iron Horse says, what about two possible methods which lead to different outcomes? One where you think it's okay and you continue as if you did it the right way, but you encounter an event that insta-deaths you. The instant numpty option that breaks the game and you have to restart it. Would involve setting a condition, if that's possible, then calling it back at a key moment. For example, while escaping, the door won't open, the bodge repair has failed, you are trapped, etc. etc. It doesn't kill you, just cause an, in an intentionally... Uh, an intentionally plus programmer. A cheeky line indeed. Has different meaning in that club. Okay. Um, I've got an idea. What if... I'm not sure how we do it. If the... Since the generator isn't off, it's just broken and that can uh, cause problems. We could have it so you could try and open the door. But going south with the door open would... Um, 
would not uh, let you th would uh, cause the door to slam shut on you. We could do it that way. We could do it that way, actually. Yeah, then hang on. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Conditions room number nine, line number one. Where is the first one? Right. Uh, above twenty-two and now five and F one and blah 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 blah. No, and that's above twenty-two. Verb 2 and reset 4, message 21. But if verb 2 and reset and set 4 go to 14, what we need to put in now, and set question mark 11, go back a bit. Oh, don't do this to me. Go back one. Set 11, go to 14. Okay, let's do this. So, um, what would it be? For the da, 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 da. We'd still need to find the line where it's the other thing. But 20, 23, now 9. 23 is open. Open door with crowbar. Reset 4 and reset 11. Message 22. That's going to change now. Reset 4 and reset 11. It'll be message 20... We won't be 22. It'll be 80. Set 4. End. Now we need to go to verb 916 again. See where we've got this message 80, set 4, end. So it's the same thing that's coming through. But we haven't changed one, one thing. So there we are. If... Verb 2 and set question mark 4 and set question mark 11. That is fine. Uh, no, and reset. Not, not set. Reset 11. Message 81. And I think it's quit, isn't it? Or exit. So let's quickly scroll through all this. A little bit of travel sickness while we get to the bottom. Where are the controls for ending the game with a game over? Where's the command for that? I think it's like exit or something like that. Uh, quit. The player is asked if he wants to continue. That's not what we want. Exit stops the game. The player is not asked. So this will be used when the player gets killed. So we need exit. Message 81, exit, end. Message 81. As you squeeze through the small gap between the doors, the power suddenly spikes. The broken door mechanism twitches, then springs to life. As you are crushed between the heavy metal slabs, you really start to wonder if you took the right job after all. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that one. Okay, so we're going to open these doors without sorting the power out. Let's see what happens. Go north. Search debris. We've got the crowbar. Open door with crowbar. You dram the crowbar into the tiny gap between the doors, heaving, swearing and sweating a lot. You manage to eventually prise the doors apart enough to let you squeeze through. Thank goodness you've been dieting or this would not work. Go south. 
As you squeeze through the small gap between the doors, the power suddenly spikes. The broken door mechanism twitches, then springs to life. As you are crushed between the heavy metal slabs, you really start to wonder if you took the right job after all. Your score was zero, and you took five turns. Press a key for another game. Da da da! <laughs> there we go. How's that, guys? How's that? So now we need to know whether this will all work, of course. So, standing in the main to what? So, go north, search debris. So, get the crowbar. Go south, lift panel with crowbar. Use terminal. So, we've got the mush. Yeah, there's the mush. Get mush. Got the mush go down. Drop crowbar. Go south. Go east. Get a uh, coil. Examine a uh, generator. Pull coil. Okay, examine coil. How do we get the coil out again? I can't. We can't get it. We can't. Oh. Why can't we? Pull coil from generator. Okay, examine the coil. There we go, we've got the coil. Right. We need the wire wool. Uh, get the wool. Where is it? Get the wool. Get wool. Du, 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 du. Put mush on wool. Hello, I like these text adventure games. They're very underrated. I'm currently playing The Planet of Death. You're looking well. Thank you. The Planet of Death. Oh my goodness. I know the name, but I don't think I've played it. Apply mush to wool. Okay, scrub coil with wool. It's like a puzzle, really. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, you carefully scrub the scorched parts of the generator coil using the gooey mush as a cleaning agent. Try as you might, you can't help but wonder what this stuff would do to your insides if you were silly enough to try to eat it. Examine coil. This should be now working. Yes. This is a large and very heavy coil. <laughs> Go east. Put coil in generator. You can't. Replace coil. Replace coil in coin, not coil, not coin, in generator. Oh, what did we call? Hi, Zach. How you doing? Trains kid says, I'm watching this inside a car wash while I wait for it to do Oh, my goodness. At the car wash. At the car wash. Yeah. Oh, what can we do? Push coil in generator. You heave the coil into position, swearing a lot as you do it. This character swears a lot. <laughs> the nice, clean coil slides into the power generator with a satisfying clunk. The power generator hums back to life. Yes! Go west. Go north. Get crowbar. Go up. Just revising for my English literature paper, too, for tomorrow. Good luck, man. Good luck. Do they give you points for speaking it? Open door with crowbar. 
You jam the crowbar into the tiny gap between the doors. Heaving, swearing and sweating a lot, you manage to eventually prise the doors apart. Enough to let you squeeze through. Thank goodness you've been dieting, or this would not work. I like your singing. Planet of Death was made by Arctic Computing. I have heard of it then, yes. Go south. Yes! It works! It works! We've done it! Yes! <laughs> We've done it! It works! It works! Yes! <laughs> no points for speaking it. Oh, that's a shame. It works. The puzzle works. We don't die if we actually turn the power on so it's, so it's working and doesn't spike. Mm. 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 Sensitive teeth. Ah. <laughs> there we go. So we're doing that and that's working. We haven't, however, created the noun that we need. So we can't actually examine that panel. So 27. Screen. Yes. 27. Display. Right. Go back into the game and examine the screen. We can't. Why can't we? Oh no, we did this. Didn't didn't we put a message in? I'm sure we did. A low priority message. Room number nine. Verb 16. Didn't we put in a... I'm sure we put this in. Verb 16 and noun 27. Didn't we put in a thing for examining the, the message? Verb 16 and noun 27 and set 11. Message 77, message 79. Verb 16 and now 9 and reset 11. Message 77. So, now 9. Oh. Oh, give me a second. I think I've messed that up. Examine door. Door is uh, solid, airtight, internal space where the door it can function as a temporary bulkhead in the event that there is part of the ship that is breached. There is a status display next to the door. The status display is a small screen that is currently reads that no. Okay, we have a problem with the door. Why? Okay, local condition. We can sort this out. Local conditions. Room number nine. We're up to like ten. Where is it? Sixteen and now nine. Yeah, it's all about the set. Stuff. Verb 16. Noun 27 and set 11. Noun 27. Noun 27 is display or screen. So verb 16 and noun 27 and set 11 gives that. Verb 16 and noun 27 and reset 11, message 77. Okay, let's do this. So it would have worked if the power was on, but it wouldn't work if the power was off. Examine the door. Let's examine the door. Now it gives the correct thing with the display. Examine display. The status display is a small screen that tells the crew the status of various mechanisms on the ship. It currently reads that no power is reaching the door and that the opening motor is damaged. There we go. There we go. So we're okay now. So, we've got that. We can now get into the into the cockpit. The cockpit has a computer in it. So, what I want to do from here is actually find the local conditions for outside. Uh, room number seven. Line number one. Hi, Jamie Smith. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you on the gaming channel. I'm around a lot now these days. S search. Debris gives us message 11. Let's have a look at message 11. Search for quite some sign, but all you find is your hands getting filthy from all the charring on the metal. Yeah. 
So we've got that. So that's how we know about the searching. So my question now is what do we need now? We need a terminal. We actually need a terminal. Object. So let's create an object. What object are we up to? We're up to object number 15. So how are you doing, Jamie Smith? Object number 15, we need a... Uh, a computer terminal. Uh, 13... Yeah, it's up. Uh, object number 15. A... Computer terminal. Starts in room number 14 and weighs 200. We're not going to be able to move this one. So we need to now put into uh, 13, noun 13. We also need computer. Okay, how's it going? Computer, there we go. Okay, this is starting to pull together. This is going to work out. Really hurt my, oh, really hurt my shoulder, guys. It's killing me these days. Right. So, here's the thing about this. Uh, we're going to need a computer terminal. So, low priority conditions. Let's do this. Let's get into this and sort out what this is. So, what are we up to? Like 30 or 40 or something with this? 60? No. Do you? 55? 53? So, 54? Yeah. If verb 16 and noun... 13, which is terminal or computer, and available. I'm going to put available rather than here, just in case somehow someone manages to accidentally glitch it and pick up the computer. I want this to still work. <laughs> available 15, which is the object. Message, what is it, 81? End. This is about the computer now. Message, 81. It seems different programming rather than behind the scenes with Jennifer. Yes, programming is is an interesting art, and it very much is an art rather than a science. I'm trying to associate one idea with another and plink it together and put the code together. I'm trying to second guess what the player is going to do at the end of it. It's very interesting. This is a uh, mission log. This is a computer. This is a... Uh, an antiquated computer used for storing mission logs and other minutiae of regarding the ship's functions. Currently it is barely working and uh, <laughs> can only display a small amount of data. And that, not display, can only uh, retrieve. That's what we want. Can only retrieve a small amount of data. I'm not going to have a check for the power being on because if you've got this far, the power is on. That's that's how this works. Because you die if the power isn't on when trying to get into the room. So there we go. Mission uh, not 82. Low priority gun. What, we up to 64 or something? No. Uh, 54, was it? Yeah, so it's message 82. If you can get to here, you can look at the computer and it'll have that information. So use computer is the next thing. Uh... Do we not have a use? I thought we had a... We must have a use... Yes, access or use 17. If verb 17 and noun uh, 13 and available 15, which is the computer, message 83, end. Right, message 83. The computer asks what you want 
to access. Mission log. Mission logs. Flight coordinates. Or, uh, let's put in something ridiculous that wouldn't normally be stored there, but some idiots put in there. Or, uh, let's have a look. Ga report on game night. <laughs> let's put that. Report on recent game, on, on night. So, we now need, <laughs> we need, we now need certain things, um. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, what did we just put in? I, I need to, I need to make, take a quick note of this with a, f a photo so that I can do this. So we need mission logs, flight coordinates, report on game night, and there'll be three different nouns with different things. Let me have a quick photo of that. So I've got it in my head. Yeah, this is a this is a thing that we don't have to do anymore. I would normally have had to write all of that down. And refer to it for one uh, slight thing. Okay, so mission logs. That's the first one. We need 84 for that. The computer flickers, then displays the requested information. An 85, this is it. Mission log. The crew have performed admirably under stressful circumstances. But the recent encounter with a rogue spatial distortion has rendered the uh, da, 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 rendered the ship unresponsive. We have no choice but to abandon ship before it crashes. There we go. So that's what we're going to get for. Uh, 85. So, messages, messages, message. Uh, nouns. We need nouns now. We need the nouns. Let's do this nouns. So, uh, let's have a look. Nouns, 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 nouns. Well, I think we're on to 28. Yes, 28. So, that will be 28 will be missions and slash logs. Twenty nine is flight coordinates and thirty is report game and night. So they're gonna put that in. <laughs> Let's do this. Oops. Yeah. So twenty eight mission. 28 will also be log and 28 will also be logs 29 is flight 29 is coordinates thirty is report thirty is also game and 30 is night. There we go. Right, so let's go back to the messages. I think we're up to 84 or something like that. Yeah, 84, then 85 to to do this. So local con low priority conditions, we're up to what, 65 now? No, 55? 56. Okay, here we go. This is what, this is where the fun is. So eight, it'll print message 84, then a blank space, then message 85. If we do this correctly, so if verb 17, which is access and noun 28, which is mission or report or logs even, 
Okay, and now 28. And available is 15, which is the computer. Message 84. And then we need a line break. I think it's like BR or something like that. LF, line feed. That's what we need. LF, LF, message 85, end. Let's do this. Okay, begin in room 14. And let's access. You are standing in the remains of the flight deck where the crew of the ship would have controlled all the mechanisms keeping the ship in space. Unfortunately, most of these mechanisms are now destroyed thanks to the crash. There is a door leading south. You can also see a computer terminal. Examine terminal. God. Examine computer. Okay, that's that's telling. This this should work. I don't know why terminal isn't working. Yeah, my computer. This is an antiquated computer used for storing mission logs and other minutiae regarding the ship's functions. Currently, it is barely working and can only retrieve a small amount of data. Use computer. The computer asks what you want to access: mission logs, flight coordinates, or report on game night. Access which is the same uh, command as use, access, mission. Computer flickers, then displays the requested information. Mission log. The crew have performed admirably under stressful circumstances, but their recent encounter with a rogue spatial distortion has rendered the ship unresponsive. We have no choice but to abandon ship before it crashes. <laughs> this is Captain Cook. <laughs> So there we go, we're getting somewhere with it. Okay. Here's a fun one for you. Accessing the flight logs, the flight coordinates, is going to give you two sets of coordinates. Where the ship was, in space and time, where the ship uh, is now. And if you try to beam to where it is now, it will beam you into the same room that you're in. <laughs> Which is just ridiculous, but I think it would be hilarious. So, do the messages. 85, is it? No. 86. Flight coordinates. Why, Commodore, did you put make the delete key so small? You little monkeys. Flight coordinates. Previous location. Previous space, time, location. Let's see. Uh, five one four. Four point six two two seven dash twenty eight dot forty four dot one six two three. Seven four five, and that is what you're going to have to enter <laughs> if you want to go to where you need to go rather than where you uh, should go, <laughs> where, rather than where it is now. And there's a reason for that. You'll we'll we'll work it out. Current space time location. Eight one eight point seven one four six. It doesn't really matter what I type here. Dash fifty five dash eighty six dot. What's that? One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. 
There we are. And that's all we need. <laughs> it's going to get uh, ridiculous and cruel. And I've just had a message from Jen. What's uh, Jen sent to me? Jennifer E. Kirk has sent an attachment. What is she... S Jen, what are you sending to me? What is going on? We're going to have another death situation here, by the way. If you enter the current space-time location. Because you're going to try and beam in on yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. Jenna sent me a meme. And I'm going to show you that meme. Because it's memeable. It's meme-worthy. Show it! Show it! The little monkey. It's jumped to somewhere else. Ugh. A good captain always goes down with a ship. Oh, 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 that is cruel but hilarious. Thank you, Jen. That was good. Oh, she shouts from the other room. You're welcome. Right, I need to take a picture of uh, those coordinates because I'm going to need to have to type them in, aren't I? Mm. Right, let's see. So it's 84 and then 86. Yes. So let's go to local conditions again. What we have to 56, 17, 28, 84, LF, LF, 85. So it'll be 84, LF, LF, 86. If verb 17 and noun computer, which is 13. No, noun is uh, not computer. Noun is flight logs 29. And available, no, and, and available, what is it, uh, 15 for the computer? Yes. Message 84, LF, LF, message 86, end. End, not wounds. I don't even know what wounds is. That's not a word. That's just a pile of nonsense. What are you doing to me, computer? Right, here we go. Access flight. Computer flickers, then displays the requested information. Flight coordinates, previous space-time location, 514.6227-28.44.1623745. Current space-time location, 818.7146-55.8683746567. There we go. Trains kid says, I had to reinforce my cat's climbing scratching post for exactly that reason. She's not a small cat. Yep. <laughs> they don't last. They don't make them properly anymore because it's made of cardboard. It's ridiculous. Cardboard covered in stuffs. Okay, the reason we're going to need that is because we need to travel back in time. So, yes. But we haven't got to that bit yet. I've just got the uh, information ready. So, oh. Guys, I may have to call this early. We're going to finish off with the logs because we've got the game night one and I want to put that in. But I may have to finish this early because I am exhausted. Like I said, I finished work at half past eight this morning, having got up yesterday... What, about 11? Because it had been a late night the night before. I'm running out of uh, energy. really am. So let's keep going and get this message done, though. 86 was the flight coordinates. Yes. And this one's about game night. Report on game. Oh, good day again! Ah, the delete key is right next to the home key, which takes you to the start of the sentence. However, the, I'm used to having a delete key that's quite large, so I keep pressing home instead of delete. Report on game night. Crewman. Jones is no longer to be allowed to run a Dungeons and Dragons campaign aboard the ship. Apparently, he goes overboard with the props and used the replication system to build a real dragon. <laughs> Cleanup teams were unimpressed. 
but it's green. <laughs> there we go. That's what you get for a pot on game night. <laughs> Just something ridiculous. So let's do that. Low priority conditions. Uh, like, what was it? 57 now? If. Verb. 17, which is access. And now 30, which is game night. And available, which is the 15, that's the computer. Message 84. Line feed, line feed, message 85, 86, 87. End. Let's try that. Access report. Computer flickers, then displays the requested information. Report on game night. Crewman Jones is no longer to be allowed to run a Dungeons & Dragons campaign aboard the ship. Apparently, he goes overboard with the props and used the replication system to build a real dragon. Cleanup teams were unimpressed. There you go. <laughs> so that, that's, that, that's the computer. Right, guys. So we've got a the ability to now get into heal. We can get crushed if we try to get in without sorting the power out. The power will also come into the the transporter system, which we uh, need to do next time. But we've got the flight coordinates. Entering the incorrect coordinates will cause you to beam into yourself and essentially try to overwrite your own uh, physical self with a copy of your physical self while you're beaming out, which is uh, what's going to cause a very painful death for the uh, for the player. However, we haven't got that far yet because we have to work on the distribution system to get the power from one core set of uh, uh, stuff, basically from instead of the food replicator system, which got us the mush that were, allowed us to clean the coils, over to the transporter, we need to redirect the power, which is a thing that I'm going to have to do, go into a fair amount of detail for. That's going to be a puzzle in and of itself. That's going to be a difficult one, because in the original version, we actually had... You guys didn't see any of that, did you? Because I was on screen all that time. Oh, for goodness sake. See, this is what happens when I'm exhausted. I make mistakes. But uh, in the original version of the uh, the game that we're converting from... Well, actually, it's not so much a conversion. as a wholesale remake and a remastering at the same time. It's got more stuff in it. It's better all around. But in the original version, it was uh, a set of uh, diagrams that you saw, which allowed you to try and work out where to adjust things. So we're going to have to work on that, and I think it's going to be hard to do, but I think we can do it. Make it an interactive uh, thing with some nice descriptions, and it should work. We've got 7.2k of memory still free. We've actually used over 1k just today for working out all of those messages and also working out all the commands. So this is not a simple thing to finish the rest of the game in the... Uh, memory available, but I think we can do it. But, like I say, I am getting really tired now. I, basically, I'm running out of, a, of energy. I am uh, on the verge of exhaustion. It has been since Friday that uh, I've basically done nothing but eat, sleep and work. And I haven't got enough of the sleep. It's been a long time. I made a cartoon. If you guys have been to uh, a Quest of Track, visit the Quest of Track channel. You'll find the cartoon I did. That was a lot of fun. But I'm worn out now, guys, so I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut this short because I'm starting to make mistakes. So let's just save this, and uh, hopefully we can get back to doing this properly later. Hi, Mark Holt. I'm so sorry that we're basically ending just as you arrived. I'm really sorry. Save to disk as a data file. RB5. Let's set the disk. It's saving. This is going to be a huge game when we're finished, but I think it's going to be fun, and I'll make it available online, and I'll send it to, uh, what's it, Zap64 magazine, so they can have a play around with it as well. You never know, they might put it into their Avengers corner. You never know, and we'll see how this goes. But, so far, the game is going as scheduled. I'd like to finish it next week, but I think it's going to be two weeks yet, because unfortunately, like I say, it's going to be... Basically, we've got to go all in next week and get the power distribution thing done. This is the big puzzle. The entire thing revolves around this puzzle and working that out. 
and then we can uh, get on to uh, the second part where we use the transporter essentially to wire it into the with the space-time coordinates wire it into uh, the power distribution and get it to send us back in time to stop the ship from crashing into the ground and that way we'll have uh, finished our mission by investigating and solving the problem that caused us to land there and investigate the alert which brought us there. So that's the idea, that's how we're going to finish the game and I think we can do it. And then after that's done, which uh, that the time space thing would be the second of the two weeks, we can just spend the last part of that uh, episode putting the scores in so every time we've done something good we get a point and things like that. So hopefully it's two weeks but it might be three. I'm not going to push it. I want to get this done, but I want to get it done right. And I think uh, you'll all agree that would be better if we do it that way. So that's the plan. Hang on. <laughs> See what I mean? I'm tripping off my... I'm so tired. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm sorry that we're cutting it uh, short. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll, uh, we'll be able to do Rule of Rose. And that'll be nice, getting a bit further in that. We're on to Act 4 of 9, I think it is, in that game. So we're getting there. But until then, I've been Zoe Kirk-Robinson. You've been watching uh, Live Game Coding. Take care, have a great evening, and bye for now. Bye.